Although the people of Dorset will certainly have come across tandoori cooking, one dish they may not be familiar with is my delicious savoury semolina cake. It's just really light and fresh and full of vegetables and I think it's a perfect kind of tea time snack. Okay, if I could ask you to weigh the semolina and if you could just give me 165 grams, you can just put it in here, that's fine. Perfect. All right, so let me get some yogurt out of the fridge. I'm going to use kind of really good quality, fresh, whole yogurt because I really want this to be slightly rich because it doesn't really have much butter or oil and um, you need to make it slightly moist. If you just kind of grate just half, a little, little bit more than half, that should be enough. It might seem strange to Western taste buds, but like adding vegetables to a cake mm -hmm. is traditional in any Gujarati household. And just kind of chop them up into not too small pieces, but slightly even. Add those in. In they go. I'm also putting in some frozen peas, some grated ginger, and mix. All we need now is a little bit of tarka. Tarka. Tarka is by heating some seeds up or some spices up in, an, in oil and just adding it on top. So uh, the process is called tarka. Yeah. Or tempering. Oh, I've heard of that. I've heard of tempering. So uh, tarka is the Indian word for tempering. All right. Cumin seeds, mustard seeds, and sesame seeds. This is a very Gujarati dish, actually, and they, they often like their things to be slightly sweet and savoury, and they use a lot of mustard seeds. And they're actually one of the few people who use quite... They use a lot of sesame seeds also. And it's just, you know, you just bite into little seeds and it gives you an, a new flavour. It's just... It's really delicious. Just be careful. Whenever you're making um, a tarka or you're tempering spices, that you want to heat the oil up so that the seeds get into the hot oil, but not so hot that they burn, because seeds are very delicate, and if they do burn, they become bitter really quickly. OK, that's done. And I'm going to pour that in there. Can you oh, smell? Right. Can you smell all yeah, the seeds oh, and all the flavours? And that fantastic flavour is going to go right into your food and um, flavour the entire batter. A bit of bicarb soda, about half a teaspoon's worth. And then the trick is just mix it, mix it, pour it into a pan and put it straight in the oven. And, let the, and then I'm going to sprinkle some sesame seeds on top, which will kind of roast and toast a little bit in the oven. So it will look just nice at the top. It'll look beautiful and it'll just have a little crunch as you bite into it. If you could just spoon it out. Thank you. Take our sesame seeds. I just love that sprinkling. combination of sweet and salt. So it'll take about half an hour. I'll have a check with the skewer. Like at times like this, I get peckish. I want the cake now. Should I have check, patience. Should we check if it's done? It's yeah. been in there for about half an hour, so it should be done. What's that stick for? Let's just see. If the skewer comes out clean with no batter, it's done. So it's done. Without burning. Oh, wow. Oh, that Can looks Can you see yum. all the beautiful kind of moistness and the peas and... And it smells so good. it's crusty. Shall we? I think it's yummy when mm. it's hot. Mm. Or it might just cold. Mm, it's good cold too. Mm. Mm.